we have a e Elon Musk made a comment about the SpaceX Starlink internet, which we've been talking about covering on his show. We're sort of following it along. The idea of global a global internet blanket from space is just interesting to me. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe others as well, particularly reaching areas that have limited connection uh, or limited connectivity. Mm -hmm. Well, originally the promise was this this some pretty incredible figures as far as the the potential for speed. Uh, I think they even maybe talked about gigabit at one point. Mm -hmm. I mean, they got crazy with it. Yeah, yeah. They're not there yet. In fact, they called the initial version, the initial uh, beta here. Uh, what was the name they gave it? Will we just talked about this recently? Uh, Better than nothing. Was it that? Is that the quote? Uh, no, no, no. Maybe it's different. Better than nothing beta. I was right. Oh, right. I right. found it. Right they called it that because they're they're basically saying, you can test this out. We need testers, but don't, it's not, this is not our finished thing. And so you just get it out the way and you say, better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, you, what is your connectivity option in some of these regions anyways? Yeah. Sometimes I just go to the cottage country and, and I'm dead. Yeah. So I mean, no cell towers. And, better than nothing. Yeah. So you understand where they're going with that. But I think in some cases they've tested better than better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Because the top speed achieved so far in Washington state, 205 megabits per second. And the official line on this is that you shouldn't expect to exceed 150. But people are testing 205, depending on the location. Kind of promising. Mm-hmm. Now, it doesn't change the fact that the price at the moment a little bit cost prohibitive because you have this $600 up front. And nobody wants to pay $600 up front for anything. Mm -hmm. People don't even want to pay $600 up front for their phones right now. Mm -hmm. So now they got to pay it for this. And then so Elon comes out and he actually uh, sends a tweet. It was a reply tweet. And if you scroll down, you can see it's kind of cool. You can see a picture uh, of the... Phased array terminal. This is going to be necessary for you to make this connection. This is what's talking to those satellites. And as part of the kit, this startup kit, you get the tripod, you have that unit, and you also get a router in there as well. So it, it manages everything. You're ready to connect to the Wi-Fi immediately oh. after that. And you can see this guy's in the wilderness. I love that. You see the leaves and, and all the rest of it. And he's connected. Yeah. Anyway, he the, the guy who posts the picture says, it's amazing. It's, it's uh, He considers it to be really cheap for what you get. But then Elon responds with, Lowering Starlink terminal cost, which may sound rather pedestrian, is actually our most difficult technical challenge. So, in other words, he is not so impressed with the current cost, uh, upfront cost, and does feel that it will limit the amount of adoption. And I think he's right. If you can get that startup cost down a little bit, yeah. eventually, at scale, they're just beta testing right now, but that could be a big... Uh, a game changer. Yeah. And he's a realist too. He's like, yeah, not everyone's going to use it. Yeah. No, definitely not. Not right now, especially. But it's cool nonetheless. And I like to see some of those speed tests coming in higher than expected. The exact speeds they are uh, stating between 50 and 150 M Mbps. So just keep that in mind. Don't get your, your hopes too high immediately. Mm.